Hello everyone! Welcome back to English with Lucy. I have got a seriously important lesson for you today. And this lesson is going to help you understand native speakers and sound more native yourself. So what are we going to talk about today? Well, we're going to talk about reductions. I'm going to show you how to correctly use words like wanna and gonna. I use them all the time in daily conversations. It's not good English, but it is colloquial conversational English and you will hear it and you probably will want to learn to use it because saying I want to and I'm going to all the time can be pretty tiresome. Quickly, before we get started, I just want to remind you that if you really want to take your English up to the next level, you're going to need to talk and practice with native speakers and there is a fabulous platform that will help you do this and it's called italki. Now italki is a website where you can find lots and lots of native qualified teachers and they're ready to help you become more fluent. I've got a present for you. I can offer you 100 italki credits which will be credited to your account as soon as you make your first purchase and that's worth around $10 so it's quite a good offer. It's like a free class. Um, if you want to claim that offer then click in the link in the description box. And yes, let me know if you use italki. I'd love to hear how you get on. It's a website I love and I use myself. So you've probably heard native speakers use words like wanna and gonna. Now because it's a colloquial word, there are some variations in spelling. I have seen it written wanna, which is what I would tend to use, and also wanna. And I've seen gonna and gonna as well but the pronunciation stays the same. Wanna, gonna. Not gonna, it's gonna. Not wanna, it's wanna. Now, the first word that I want to talk about is wanna. Now, wanna means want to. Want to. I wanna go home. I want to go home. Now this is fine when we use it with I, you, we and they. I want to go home, you want to go home, we want to go home and they want to go home. That's fine. The problem arises when we want to use he, she or it. Why? Well, because we have to use the third person singular. Now, I want to but she wants to. So wanna changes to wants to, wants to. So he wants to go home, she wants to go home, it wants to go home. So you must remember that if it's he, she or it, it's not wanna, it's wants to. You have to make sure that the verb and the subject agree. Now moving on to gonna. Gonna means going to and the biggest mistake that I hear is that students forget to use it with the verb to be. I am going. You are going. To be going. So I always hear I gonna go, she gonna go, we gonna do. That's wrong. It needs to be I'm gonna go, she's gonna go, we're gonna do. Now the other error that students tend to make with gonna is to do with the pronunciation of the third person singular again. I'm gonna go, you're gonna go, we're gonna go, they're gonna go is fine. But as she and he both finish with a vowel sound which is voiced, we need to use the z sound. She's gonna go, he's gonna go. If you want to sound native, you must do that. If you say she's gonna go or he's gonna go, I immediately recognize that you're not a native speaker. Of course, people will understand you, but if you want to speak like a native, then that's what you need to do. Now with it, on the other hand, as t is an unvoiced consonant, we use the s sound after it. So she's gonna, he's gonna, it's gonna. Now I hope that clarified your doubts about the reductions wanna and gonna. Remember, 
not gonna, it's gonna. Not wanna, it's wanna. Remember there are various different spellings, but I would advise against using them in written English. It's something that we tend to use more speaking. Now remember that your subject has to agree with the verb. Wanna, I wanna, he or she wants to. Then remember to use the verb to be with gonna. And the pronunciation, she's gonna, he's gonna, it's gonna. Okay, that's everything. I hope to see you very, very soon for another lesson. Don't forget to connect with me on all of my social media, which is here. And I'll see you for another lesson very, very soon. Mwah.